Exchange rates. Due to countries having different currencies, exchange rates were introduced to allow conversions. When trading overseas, payments would usually have to be made in another currency. Calculations. Transactions between people in different countries are difficult due to the use of different currencies. The exchange rate for US dollars and sterling pounds are 1 US dollar is equal to 0 0.81 sterling pounds. So then a purchase of US dollars 10,000 would be equal to a total sterling pound value of 10,000 into 0 0.81, which is 8,100. Changing exchange rates. Exchange rates do not stay the same. The price of currency is always changing. This is because the market forces decide prices and supply or demand can change at any time. Appreciation. The appreciation of a currency is where the value rises and the exchange rate increases. If there's an appreciation, exports would decrease because according to exchange rates, goods are more expensive for the other countries. Imports, however, would rise because now goods are cheaper thanks to the exchange rate. Depreciation. The depreciation of a currency is where the value falls and the exchange rate falls as a result. If there's a depreciation, exports would increase because according to exchange rate, Goods in the country are more cheaper now for the other countries. Imports, however, would decrease because imports are more expensive thanks to the exchange rate. Businesses need to buy foreign currencies to pay for goods and services overseas. Travelers would also have to get foreign currency to make purchases in foreign countries. The currency needed can be bought in the foreign exchange market. The foreign exchange market is the international market for different currencies. Some key traders in the foreign exchange market are commercial banks, forex dealers who are traders in currency who have government authorization, central banks, and speculators who are individuals or businesses that hope to profit from the buying and selling of assets such as currency. Bad debts. When sellers give credit, customers can receive the goods now and pay for them later. If customers fail to pay what they owe, it becomes a bad debt, meaning the money is never received. Customers not paying could be because the customer went out of business, is very poor at money management, has experienced a bad debt themselves, has a disagreement about the money owed, or doesn't want to pay. The impact of a bad debt to businesses could be very bad. Some problems caused by bad debts would be Stress by worrying if the customer will pay, cash flow problems, wasting resources to try to get debts paid, difficulty to raise funds, low profitability, and running out of cash. The impact to individuals of bad debts is individuals could face a number of problems. For example, they may find it hard to borrow money in the future because of a low credit rating. Large unpaid debts could result in becoming homeless. This would cause stress and depression. 